All right, not sure if you guys can see me or not, but uh, we're just gonna give this a go. This is off of my cell phone. I'm not using a selfie stick, just holding it by my hand. So I'm at an undisclosed location, I guess. I can't really tell you where that's at. But anyways, I'm working on a different type of welding system. Well, it's Orbital, everybody's seen Orbital. And this is through Tri-Tool. Uh, I guess it's branded Adaptark and Orbit Master. They're using Miller welders to marry up all their stuff. Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, it puts down pretty decent welds. Uh, I guess I'm just going to kind of throw in some little snippets of videos that I've taken throughout the, the week. And hopefully, maybe I'll probably get a bunch of questions, but who knows? Maybe not. Uh, one thing I can say that AdaptArc really needs to do, or try tool is they need to come up into this century. They've got all the technology in their little box that blue box they got all the good technology there and then we're back in the DOS system here but hey you know whatever it's all good right um, I mean no mouse keyboard as far as I'm concerned uh, and they say these uh, function keys don't do anything so that should be a touch screen right whatever uh, Miller water cooler I guess from what I understand, their updates are, they kind of go in the line and they put in some sensors to talk to their system, which is probably a good thing. Now, behind their system here, they've got all the appropriate plugs, I guess. Uh, you can put two different shielding gases in at one time with a solenoid. And the main reason for that is because this head unit is capable of four different welding processes, five processes, something like that. Depends how you think of it. It can do Miller's RMD, just their own uh, AdaptArc's proprietary, whatever they're talking about, short arc system to put in a root pass, an open root, which probably isn't very useful for me. But anyways, uh, they can put a... Uh, they can take this off and put a TIG head on there, or a gas tungsten arc welding head, which is kind of neat. And then they can do pulse spray and flux core as well. So that's a kind of neat system. I mean, we're just kind of dabbling with it right now, but I mean, here's some of the, like a cap pass. So it, it looks pretty good.
that pipe right here, you're not going to get away from him. Yeah. Very slowly. You got to do it in the front, you got to do it in the front. Apparently. Oh, he stopped it before it got to the yeah. bottom. Yeah. And it did the rest. Watch your of the eyes. Bottom. Watch your eyes. Let it go. Let's go take a break.
the way it goes a little bit above. Oh, yeah. Wrong way. Yeah, okay. That's okay. A little bit above it. Really, when you're doing a two G, uh -huh. that filler wire ought to enter the puddle a little bit high relative to the tungsten. So it's going to fall down. And well, gravity. Gravity. 